and 62. Creatures are attacking the Skull Village. I should go outside and help to defend these people. The werewolves attacking the Skull Village have been defeated. The werewolves inside the Griathal are defeated. The Skull Guard that was inside is dead. Heart Fang, however, is nowhere to be found. Wind Eye tells me that during the battle with the werewolves, he believes I was infected by one of them. A cure disease spell will rid me of the affliction, but if I do not do this within three days, I may become a werewolf myself. Until I have been cured, Wind Eye cannot allow me to be a part of the Skull community. I have been cured of the lycanthropy disease, and may once again be a part of the Skull. I have been named Blood Skull, a blood friend to the village. They will allow me to use Rigmore Halfhand's former house as my own. Korst Wind Eye has told me that he would like Hello me to again, take friend. part in a Skull what ceremony called you? Ristag, in order to cleanse and bless the Skull people. First, though, he would like me to retrieve the Totem of Claw and Fang. The Totem of Claw and Fang is located in the tombs of Skullera, located east and a bit south of the Skull village. You said it was fresh, but I don't know. It looks kind of like gold. What a life. So welcome back to the adventure zone, Shiaryu and their friend currently is old here from MCA Companions in the Skull Village. Hey Fall the Fox! I think we should go with a little quest here. Totem of Glow and Fong in the Tombs of Scalara which is southeast of the Skull Village. So let's go and see how we are able to find things in this big our howl of source time. Which is making everything much more mountainous. Oh, and over there we can see I believe the Sostan Castle or the Locken Castle. I always make confusion from here. I think I've fixed also a couple of uh, seams we found last time. Oh, oh. Yeah. You should have picked it easier. The usual hang. <laughs> Trying to, to freeze us. Anyway, so I think I fix a couple of our seams that we were finding, and also the mod was placing uh, cliff racers here to hunt. Uh, one of the quests of the Morrowind, quest of the week mod was placing. Oh, nice. Uh, was placing cliff races, uh, there was a sort of minor 
<laughs> okay, like you said, but uh, it was a minor conflict uh, in a sense because it was not really uh, a conflict with uh, the rocks immediately, but when the cliff races. Uh, you kill them, they were falling, and if they were falling over a rock, uh, it was very, very likely that they would uh, go under the rock, because that's a problem with a lot of Morrowin animation. Uh, the death animation has some, oftentimes have collision problems uh, when col colliding with other meshes. Uh, so it's better to, to just move things a little so they fall on the ground instead of that on rocks and they did it so also that mod is more compatible now anyway we are looking for this uh, tombs of Scalara southeast of the Skull village so we should be definitely Definitely to the east, but let's see if we can get some. Paint. Uh, I don't see any reference to this tomb. Maybe we must go a little more to the south and probably explore this this part, this part of the coast. So let's go. South. Ah, my friend here is following just fine. Oh, and this is another little thing floating. I will take a note as usual. So probably yeah, also this this thing is easier to fix, uh, if possible, from the source time mode, uh, the locking source time castle and locking mode. Uh, usually, just trying to. Uh, elevate a little uh, the towering level, but you have to pay attention to not do something. Uh, oh, here they are. Not do something uh, exaggerated because it's hard to keep uh, changes to towering compatible between modes. So. Oh, but probably this thing has not fixed at all. This is something that I was thinking would have been fixed. Maybe it's a problem also with the save. I'm not sure. I don't think terrain level uh, should be should be saved anyway. But this still need some fixing so I will just take another note uh, well we are here so let's try and look at this tomb there should be a way to enter here it is So we must go here and locate the totem of claw and found. Okay. 
Ooh. And they are nasty. But I have one doubt about the werewolf. I was not remembering them so small. I think it's a little strange. I was expecting something bigger, but maybe... Uh, oh, another one. I was thinking about more uh, the Skyrim werewolf or things like this. Because I was thinking about a possible problem could be with some options, you know, one of the options uh, the changes done by MWSI to the uh, place at PC command is to keep the scale of the thing spawning spawning uh, the other thing uh, this way you can you can just keep uh, or play something uh, with the same scale easily but there's an, a problem or compatibility with the old mods maybe because if you have uh, the, the spanner thing with, with, with a, a small scale uh, the old behavior was to forget it and always spawn the new things with scale equal to 1 while now with that kind of patch it will spawn with the same scale as the object that is spawning the new thing so sometimes this thing has a result to, to spawn smaller things so if you find in your game that dynamic things spawn from level at least and so on are smaller than expected, that may be the reason. But I think this thing should be only with uh, uh, with something not animated like NPCs and werewolves. So I, I'm I'm not sure, not really sure about it. Oh. And are you, are you okay? Yes. Seems so. Now it, what? It's just it's just the cold. Uh, so I have this feeling, but maybe uh, I don't remember exactly the original Vanilla Morrowind Wolves, Vanilla Blood Moon. If they they always been this size. But there's an easy way maybe to, to check it. We can just click it and use the get scale command. And so as you can see they are uh, oh another one. They are the the right scale. It's just uh, one one thing uh, I was. I was thinking about it, but they they are the, the right scale. They are not so imposing, but they are very strong and very dangerous. So I think we could also use a helmet. But there's no real need of a torch. It's not so dark. What this? Check something. Oh, another one. And they are hitting hard. Lava. 
if you just don't react fast. They are really hitting up. Uh, this thing is really some kind of labyrinth. I think, I'm not sure about it, but I have a feeling uh, from conversation that I followed in the Morrowind uh, modding uh, Discord channel that QQQBBB is working on a new MWSI Lua version of the uh, container closing mod that I hope will finally allow to, to make some smart containers that will be able to detect if there is something laying over the container and so avoid to, to, uh, to play the animation if there are candles or shirts over the container and play it smart only when there is nothing over there. I think that this will be great because you can just keep the animation uh, pressing the control key now, but it is something you have to, to do, uh, uh, willing to do it, uh, paying attention to it, and uh, having it automatic could be really, really great, I think. And I, I expect something like this from this new version. I hope to... This is what he's preparing. And lately there are more and more modders uh, trying to use uh, MWSI Lua because you can really do things uh, that were quite impossible to do uh, since a few years ago and some others uh, are just trying to, to do things they, they wanted to do in the past but they couldn't Don't kill my friend, you bastard! So they are really nasty. Let me see if my friend is still alive. As you can see, I scripted uh, my MCA companions. So they are really hard to kill. They just sort of Welcome, friend. get uh, knocked out, but they should be able to. Welcome, Breton. Please, speak freely. To be better in a short time. Uh, but probably we should tell her to follow again. Well, what is it? No, not this one. This is another mod which I don't want to use. I take it you want something. Well, what is uh, that must be a topic together maybe oh travel together yes uh, I think companion mods should always have some special characters for uh, commonly used 
topics like travel together because this way they are on top and it's always easier to find them but in the case of MCA Companion they are just standard topics so you can find them uh, below usually anyway we are looking for this daughter but this kind of labyrinth not not easy to find things I think I will Let's give her a couple of hammers here she is strong so she can do it and one mod which I really hope to to, to see sometimes now that technically we can do a lot of new things uh, is a mod uh, making companion able to actually, uh, you know, uh, you look at the container and the contain and the companion we, which is a thief, is able to open the container and loot it, or as another companion which is a warrior can can just loot automatically the containers if you open it first and so on, or you can just. Uh, look at some spoils and the uh, click a, boot a button, uh, a key, and the companion will loot the thing for you and keep things in the companion inventory. I think this will be really something great. But we can also bash things because I'm using a bashing mod, but it's not really easy. And you risk to break your precious weapon, so better to use. Oh, I think we found it the totem of glow and fog. And our journal has been updated. So let's read it with she are you? I am. I have retrieved the totem of claw and fang. And that's good. And I think we must find the proper uh, pick to be able to to bash and open this star ring hard kind of transparent rock ah, this place it is definitely big And now we try to go back to the entry. So I'm pressing the Alt key to to sprint for a few seconds. This is something added by my Alt mod. And I think that is a uh, Sostan castle, while that one could be from Alt Vendras or Loken. I always am confused about it, but there are three castles not far, not far away. Oh, lunch time is approaching. Do we have any food? We have some bread and some roasted meat. Oh, 
Shiryu is putting on her helmet. Maybe she had some. Suspicious sound about enemies. Well, it's not really like this, but I'm using a uh, smart element mod. Uh, it works this way. Uh, when you change cells, uh, if there are aggressive enemies around there you automatically put an helmet home and here he is the usual How are you, Isolde? She's fine, as you can see. Plenty of health. I think I also scripted them to get more or less the same level and half of player. And here we are, back to the beautiful Skull Village with this big new door added by the Sostam Overhaul mod, I think. Not sure about it, but... And this is from the Children of Morrowind mod, probably, and we can get some Snowball and use it like a weapon. <laughs> oh, crap! A <laughs> crime! Hey, you're my companion. Stop. Stop fighting, please. I'm your friend. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. She's not really happy about it. I did something stupid. A <laughs> snowball. Oh. <laughs> She's killing me. <laughs> and I think it, it will be hard to... To actually... Uh, let me check this. How can I do it? Oh shit, they're really killing me. Uh, it will be hard to... hard to... avoid her because she's also able to fly, I think. And there must be a way I can stop um, her fighting, but... I don't remember it now. Oh, and I cannot, I cannot use more than four potions. I don't want to really fight her, but maybe I can block. You will die where you stand. Oh, but I'm almost, almost dead. Oh, maybe she's. Finally calm. Uh, let me check. Can I fly? Just to try this. Oh, she's following. Oh, as you can see, she is now calm. So I think there's some mechanics like if you change cell, the companion have the time to to calm herself, but. 
it's better to not be aggressive. So even a snowball can go snowballing and make you risk your life. Anyway. I think I, I don't need to fly anymore. Right. So let's see our crime for playing. Oh, <laughs> oh a little bounty just to play with a snowball with our friend here. Are you a god? You have cleared my name and restored my honor. What can I do for you, my friend? A friend? Oh, he's he's the one we had to with with the first quest we did here. Uh, but I think the one who gave us the quest is. Are you a sight? What can I do? The boss here. No, not here, but in the big common house here. The great hall. Or maybe not. Uh, maybe, oh, a guard killed by the werewolf and they kidnapped, uh, kidnapped the, the boss, so I think I must talk with uh, the shaman, Cost, I think he's the one. You are to retrieve the totem of glow and fang. Yes. Your fang. And I was pleased that I was able to return the totem of claw and fang from the tombs of Skullera, and rewarded me with knowledge of the skull nature magic. He has taught me the skull ritual to summon a wolf to fight by my side. Oh. Okay, so... We have... A new spell? Oh, Carl Wolf! Oh, ah, we have a nasty wolf, not so nasty. A nice wolf. Very black. Hello? He's not really. Barking or things like this, so I think it's signed. Greetings, Blood Scar. Check for another quest. You and I must speak of the restart. Okay, so we must do a ceremony to please the old maker. Having returned the totem of claw and fang to Corst Wind Eye, he explained to me that soon the skull will perform the wrist egg. A ritual hunt that is meant to bring favor from the All Maker on the skull. Okay, so uh, meet at the nightfall with Rolf Longtooth. One of our because of my service to the skull. Wind I believes it would be good for me to take part in the wrist egg. I am to meet with Rolf Longtooth, one of the Skull Hunters, by the western shores of Lake Fjalding after nightfall. He will then explain how the hunt will take place, and what my part in it will be. Okay, so... We have time before the night. I think we, we could do uh, something different. And we must go 
to Lake Fjalding. The western shores after nightfall. Oh, uh, maybe it's better to go there uh, with with the the sun, so it's easier to find the place. And then we can mark the place. So I think that's a good idea. So uh, west of Lake Fiali. This should be not far from here. So I think we got some kind of short path this way. Look at this, I just love this. Oh, here is one of the first stones. Oh, and as you can see, uh, apart the, the, the magic effect, Die. now the this beast stone is a little greenish because I find this way it's it's just a little easier to find them because it's been very hard with all these new rocks added by system overhaul to find the the, the magic stones and so I added this little new thing uh, a little greenish We have the lake on fire. As as we have seen last time. And we must go to the western shore of the lake. So I suppose more or less this way could be. Where is my friend? <laughs> She's falling down. She's fighting with some kind of... Oh. Oh, she's fighting with... to do okay water walking to go out of water so I think more or less this could be uh, the area where we are going to to find our friends for the restock but we will go here at night can we jump over here?
Okay, so I think I will use a mark here if possible. Not sure this is the right place, but it should be not far. But I cannot memorize any more marks because I have a limit for the Lion Teleportation mode. Uh, so it depends on your magic abilities. And Shiawi is a good mage, but she has a lot of slots already, already used. So we must remove something. Erase a previous mark. Uh, hmm. Okay. I will remove this mark because it's easier to reach the Skull Village than other places, so... Okay, we'll remove this mark and now we should be able to use a new one. Uh, in theory, I should be able to type in a new name for the mark, but... I get a crash while trying to do this thing last time, so I don't want to use it. I will just use uh, the standard wilderness, wilderness mark. And now we have time to do other quests. Uh, uh, I don't think it's nice to explore more this part of the world, because there's a nasty uh, snowstorm, as you can see. Shari is also freezing, not really because she has uh, good healing, but as you can see, a mod is adding uh, various effects from the <coughs> from the blizzard. So what we could do is go back, for instance, to another place and explore some new mods. And I'm curious about one specific mod, with old mod with which I just added, which is uh, I think a new Dedric ruin with lots of enemies, high high level enemies. So let's take a look about it. And I think it should be nearby uh, the place where I have my Ashlander tent. So let's just go there. Using the Ashlander Dan Return Amulet. And here we are. As you can see, order is not she are your best quality. <laughs> She's dropping precious uh, artifacts everywhere, but this is the great Ashlander Dan. Let's see if we can roast anything. Because I think uh, we could eat something and then go and try to explore this new mod, which should be uh, near this the place where where we have this Ashlander tent. And we are already eating some some bread. Maybe we are ready. Oh 
Okay, she's no more hungry. Uh, let me check. It's it's still uh, very early in the afternoon, so we have the time to explore things. Oh, and I am my friend Bakgua right here near the tent, but we have a very nasty Dedrick enemy. We are sort of blocked by the tent, luckily. But these are high level enemies. So it may be hard for if you use this mod uh, with a low level character, you must pay attention to this ruin. Oh crap. I think they are about level 20 or or more. And uh, the original mode I think had all these Dedrick things uh, with, with uh, have, as you can see with very low value and this is a right thing because uh, Yes, they are level, high level, but it's not really fair to to give a lot of easy loot, easy precious loot to the player. So I'm okay with giving these things uh, a Dedrick look, Dedrick statistics, more or less, but uh, a low value. So what I did is adding the old prefix to make easier to to tell these Dedrick things, old Dedrick things from the real ones. And I did also another thing, as they have a really powerful stats, to make these things even more balanced. I, I did. Uh, I did uh, reduce a lot uh, their um, health, their quality, how much they can endure, endure combat. So I think they are more balanced now because you can use them, they are very powerful armor rating but with a couple of or fight you you can destroy them so they are old they are brittle and they are no more unbalanced like in the original mod and I think I have no more my companion following I'm not sure I want to take her because I think we can find a lot of nasty enemies inside but maybe we should give her some kind of occasion to prove her value so let's call for her and I don't remember her name. Oh, here she is. No worries, I won't hurt you. Are you following? Right. Be ready because we are going inside, and this is a nasty place. And I want to show you. Uh, the exterior of this mod is an old mod, but I think it's a very nice one. We have this big ruin, Dedrick ruin, which is scenic enough. And 
and I could use some better speed. As you can see, very scenic. And all in all, the mod is very compatible because the mod is not touching landscape. But, you know, the usual desert green. And now we are ready for the inside and one suggestion I can give you is prepare something to levitate because this thing is full of, of lava and especially if you're using some mods Lava is really is really dangerous and this is really something Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> a good comment may be disgusting but I think there are also this is fight enemies Luckily, also the enemies can be killed by lava, I think. Now you die. And they are high level, so... I think some level between level 20 and level 40. Oh, my poor friend. Attack that thing. She's not really able to attack. Probably there's some kind of. Oh, she's an eyes are you a sight? What can How I do are you? She's fine. So let's see the level of this necromancer here. As you can see, level 40 is tough. So we have the usual deadly things, but with the things very brittle and with very low value. So yeah, I think it's better, but probably oh, all Dedrick's beer, also the weapon. Is very brittle. 200 points of health. So all in all, this boss is, this mod is a very scenic Daedric ruin uh, with a lot of atmosphere, powerful enemies.
I'm not sure I checked one thing in this in this mod and it's the path grid because without a proper path grid usually NPCs are not not good Oh, and I want to show also this thing because I don't know what kind of enemy is this. A super mage, but as you can see, he's using a, a very, a very scenic uh, frost shield and a fire shield. And this is every texture. All the fire shield and the frost shield that I did using uh, some the, the the same texture used by uh, for the torches and and is the flame replaces by I think I'm not sure about the name of the model but I think it, it, it's from Apple and I think it's great also as Texture for the for the flame shield, the fire shield. Oh, a necromancer amulet, fire shield, frost shield, but drain personality. Hmm. Well, let's get it as some kind of. Oh, a necromancer stuff. I think this one is. Is good loot because this is the Necromancer Lord, so probably the powerful enemy, the boss. And I think I did not touch this thing. This is the real loot. Real loot is this this weapon. So a nice world, I think, very scenic. Not for very low level players, but Nice mod to have. The mod is called uh, Dedrick Cathedral. And uh, well, don't go here when you are low level and pay attention to the lava because there's a lot of lava. In in first room, at least. And I don't know if we can... Oh, another one, but... We already killed the big boss, so... I hope this one... will not be a problem. Oh, well, we have some kind of frost. So I could loot this all that thing, but they are very brittle, so I will just skip them. And I think that's all. So a nice little mod with a simple dungeon, but Well done. And uh, Nico Archer. So, not really good loot, but you yeah, have this nice uh, staff. Which is worth a lot of money. I 
hand also has powerful magic. A good, a good uh, desert stuff. And, uh, let's go out. Oh, here we are the place where you must pay attention to lava. Cannot even reach me. This fight is over. <laughs> She's killing herself. She cannot fly. And I will save because I want to check this thing. I think it would be really important in a place like this to uh, have enemies be able to fly or to have a good buff grid to let them avoid lava so let's check for it I will use the DPG command toggle buff grid but there is no buff grid at all so you see this is an old mod and so this is pretty normal but to make the mod better I think we could add path grid so I will take a note about it maybe in the future because NPCs use path grids mostly uh, especially in interiors and without path grids they really are a little stupid. Uh, they don't know how to move. Uh, they move in, in silly ways. They go to lava. Uh, they keep going against the walls and so on so not a good thing uh, what could we do now here for instance hmm, want to show you one thing over there is one of the most scenic mod added by the uh, was Dying Revival mod Syria, which is that kind of uh, six tiles Dedrick thing. Uh, problem is, it was not really so playable because the interiors was uh, not really done properly to be used uh, from the construction set it was out of center uh, a unique block so what I did is just use the exterior and add some teleportation thing oh and this is some kind of bad effect from MGI XI maybe some problem with trying to prevent some fog effect or I don't know. You should have picked an easier opponent. Oh, are we attacked by some stupid cliff racer? I hope so. We can kill. Oh, and another mod that I really want. I find it strange that nobody did it so far is a, a mod uh, with Saint Jube killing all the cliff races because I think it will be something uh, much 
appreciate it. Oh, and we have a lot of ordinators here, but I'm trying to explore this thing because I told you it's very, very scenic, but I want to show you a little bit. And I have also this sort of defect in the in the animation. Uh, every now and then, welcome, Breton. Please, she, she is no more uh, walking in that silly way. But every now and then, she's so it's some kind of. Look at this! Look at this! This thing is beautiful! Oh, and we can drink because that's the usual, usual ash storm arriving. Looking for uh, a way to reach some towering level entry to that beautiful field. Look at this! I just love wood trees. They give you this this atmosphere. I think they are perfect in such kind of. Look at this. Just, just love them. Look at the God Rays effect under these incredible wood trees. And as we are, we already did the main quest since a lot of time. We have no more, uh, no more magic barrier here. We have this incredible, uh, incredible. Oh, and we are so high that we are freezing. Uh, this incredible pylons. I think they are from Star Wars uh, Gal, I think. The same author uh, who did the, the famous Skies 4, I think. And I'm not finding the, the proper entry this beautiful West Dying Revival thing, so I will try and look uh, for the teleportation instead from the top. Uh, this teleportation thing is something I added uh, to this pers personal uh, version of this beautiful exterior. Uh, because uh, I did not use uh, the interior, I did not find it uh, properly done to be used uh, in Morrowind, but the exterior is just beautiful. And I think there are a couple places... Oh, this fog, I don't like it. There's some kind of problem with this weather. Let me check it. So this should be not bad weather. Anyway, I'm looking for the door. It should be hidden somewhere. Yeah, boy. 
Oh, here it is. So, this passage is giving you another really scenic view uh, with a better time, that is. So, you can explore this thing. Ah, here we are, the entry ah! to the big thing and the usual cliff racer. So, really something beautiful. Off a screenshot with my friend here. Maybe. Let me check if we can actually do it. Right. And I think we can also go there. I think this is uh, another mod. Perfectly able to kill them herself, and okay, so merged, and uh, maybe we can cook. Yeah, no, not really. Oh, here is the entry, so. Got her here, over on the bridge, very scenic. So, with the better weather, it's really much better. Over there, we can see uh, the Voss Castle, Tal Voss Castle. Really beautiful. Anyway, here is the teleporter. So we are back to the top where we can take a look at the rest of the world, but that's some kind of problem with the fog. So I wanted to show you this uh, very scenic, very beautiful place, uh, weather is not good, so I think it's time to, to explore some other place, and another mod which I recently added is, uh, should be near Nisis. So I will recall the star of oh, Christain, uh, which is one of ours, Van Ninja. Uh, what makes this smell? Van Ninja houses around Vanofa are located. Uh, in cool, I think. And from here, 
we will try and reach Nisis. Oh, but I think I could just give a. Speak up. Some loot we got while exploring source time. Oh, ah, this is actually the mod with uh, which was not working, and now it is. I can scroll things using the the scroll wheel. Uh, it was not working for me last time I tried it. Uh, maybe there was some key conflict with some other mod, but now it seems it is sort of working. Let me check. So, what if I want to give a uh, one of this? Oh, nice! I can just scroll up to give her things, and if I scroll down, Very nice. I like this. Um, there's a little problem, maybe that. No, it's working. So if you are not over something, it it works like usual. And if you are nice, I think this mod it um, it's a little too sensible for my. Uh, I think it would be better if it could made to work only when you press, uh, for instance, the control key and uh, or alt key, and in that case you have the, the transfer. But this way, uh, it's hard for me to to get used to it. I think I, and I don't like it very much so maybe there's some kind of way to to set up it or you can change change the mod to work with with an extra extra key pressed and then i think i will i will like it but um as it is i have some problems uh, being used to it Anyway, a nice idea because it's making moving things faster. And let me see. Oh, I don't remember what I gave to her. Oh, this is one thing I want to keep because I really had to do a lot of things to get that skull. And also this one is something precious for me. Also this one. Also this one, because these are teleportation rings and so on. So I must keep them. And this means I want to keep. Okay, so let's see if we can give us something else, but I think I will uh, not use this mod as it is because it's making me, make me uh, give her things I don't want to give her. So it may be me uh, that I have this problem, but I think it needs some extra key to be to be more practical. Anyway. Uh, 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 I am not, not good things to give, give her. Uh, maybe oh, I could drop some food. Okay, I will just give her some. Restore health potion for now. And 
let's see if I can now drink another feather potion. Yes, I can. Right. Okay, so now we can move. So we are in cool, I think. That's a cool place. All the children playing. I see this land suits you. We welcome you freely. And I want to reach Nisis. So probably the best way is to get the uh the Silt Strider from here. Hello. Brinja. She's from the children now morrowing. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Okay, I want to go to Nisus. And as we are here, we will use the scenic travel. Let's see if we are able to reach Nisus without crashing. I must say that the uh, latest version of MWSI uh, for me, for my setup, are much more stable. I, I had some little problems every now and then. But mm, this tree should not disappear. Anyway. can see the red mountain in the distance and this beautiful thing. oh that's a sort of little castle tower added by another mod and as you can see my MCA companion is following and traveling with Chiaryu and she's moving around in the back so she's not really uh, causing problem if we want to uh, to look the beautiful scenery around in fast pass of view and over there we can see uh, the Nisus Bridge can see stronghold while we are approaching Nisus and we are slowly going down to the strider platform and so it seems we did not crash and everything worked as expected and my companion is here ready to follow again and the new mod that I'm looking for is Oh, I want to show you another thing as we are here. We have the beautiful Nisus Minaret. By Stavro Gain, I think, the same author of the beautiful uh, Mages Guild uh, windows. And I think by the same author, this beautiful... I'm not sure about it, but I think so. Uh, we are talking about the Overstein Revival, Revival series or mode, I think. Uh, this beautiful uh, hand inspired from... Like 
every Rosdain revival series mod inspired by the original Morrowind art and I think I just changed it to be a little smaller to be compatible with this uh, Mises arch but that's the one thing I did anyway I'm looking for this place which should be at the mouth of the river There should be some kind of statue not far from the river mouth. Oh, and over there we can see uh, another big castle. I don't remember the name, but it's a very nice castle by Spock. It's here. Now this is another secret mod. Ah, the seekers. We already played it, and I'm looking for some kind of statue. Not far from here. Should be visible. Oh, the castle is called Yari Castle, and you can get it in two ways. Uh, there's a quest for it if you want, which is what I suggest. A very, hi very high level quest. And uh, that's the option to simply buy the castle for a lot of gold, but the quest is super high level. Uh, the, that is probably the hardest enemy I've ever found in a Morrowind mod. So be prepared. To, to have really impossible fights. And oh, I hate these things. Okay, so looking for this statue should be not far from here. Mm. Another one. Oh, we can also get some fish. I like to use spear for fishes because. There's a special interaction with water life where you can get them with the spear, or str string them. It's much, much, much better this way. And looking for the statue. Oh, but first I must kill these stupid things. I hate them. I think I will remove them from the creatures mods sooner or later because these little things are the most annoying thing after the cliff racer. Oh, another one. Because they are small, but they are nasty, especially at low level. Anyway, where is this statue? Should be somewhere. Hmm, 
maybe it's better just to fly around. Hmm. We have a collision problem. So it could be some kind of conflict. But I think It may be just simply not the right place. I was thinking it to be uh, very near to th to the river. I I hope it's not a conflict with the castle uh, because that would be a pity. Okay, I think to do things faster I will... Oh, what that tree is... is disappearing. Oh, I seen it! Over there! The other statue. She was trying to catch some slaughter fish, probably. Oh, and over there we can see uh, Bang Malur, black light from time of rebuilt coast, and here is this new statue of uh, this this rock, and this should be the sign of this new mod called the Tower of the Damned. So. Around here should be some secret entry, magic portal, things like this. But as you can see, it's not really... Oh! Nice! Nice, these are not so common to see. And they can really be dangerous, but usually they are not. Added by water life. Oh, she's. giving us a way to. to travel around, but. Uh, I'm looking for this kind of portal. But it's not a real door. Oh, and my friend is fighting with some predator. Oh, and this is a shark. Not a big one. And we have our friendly dolphin, and you can travel with the dolphin for a while. <laughs> yeah, also. A floating log, uh, but I did not found this. Did not find this portal so far. 
Most of this coral, a water life. Yeah. Hyga and things you can gather for alchemy ingredients. So these things are spawned around the player by the water life mod. Also this one. Oh, here it is. So this should be a strange temporal door. My companion is here. We need more water breathing. So here is the place where we can start exploring this mod. But I think for now I will just place a mark here somewhere. Or maybe not because it's really easy to find this place with this big statue just uh, out of Mises near the castle. So not really necessary a mark but anyway I think I will stop here Time is it? Let me see. Oh, and our gondolier friend out there. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Where is my path? So, uh, 7 p.m. Time for me to stop, and also time for Shiaryu to prepare for. Uh, the meeting we we have in Solstein with the Ristag ceremony uh, to do by night, but we will come back here because I want to explore this mod, this new mod, and see where that mysterious portal is going. So. For now, I will stop here and thanks for watching and see you next time.